Hi, Steve Cooper, Rank Success, and uh, just going through some issues on the news today, and I, I kind of do that from time to time to make sure that my site, my services and products are kept up to date. And one of the things that I was um, struck by today was the fact that the National Police Chiefs uh, Council, um, the Commissioner of London, Sir Mark Rowley, um, police officers themselves, the Police Federation and the Superintendents Association have all made appeals to the Home Office in relation to police pay, increasing police pay to reflect the current economic circumstances to, and to try and get a pay rise for police officers um, and to make the case for that. And I just wanted to kind of just draw that analogy with you. If you're a promotion candidate, if you're someone who's aspiring to promotion, just using the news uh, the daily news briefs, if you like, to think about how you, as a leader, as a manager, as a supervisor, uh, might choose to think about these things, might choose to support the issues as they arise on your teams. And I just wanted to just think through and, and, and work through some of those points there. So, first of all, in relation to salaries, on my site, uh, ranksuccess.co.uk, is probably one of the I, I certainly had problems finding meaningful information about current relevant pay scales. Um, so on my site, ranksuccess.co.uk, you will find up to date police salaries and you'll see that officers go up through past the UK average salary of around 30,000, just over, uh, and work through increments from joining up to you know 40, 41,000, something like that. I haven't got the site in front of me, but I'll try and keep that up to date. So that's why I was interested in this. Um, so we've got all these people um, you know, making representations, all these associations making representations to the Home Office, so will, will they listen? Uh, there's a process to go through, but you know, laying on the background of that, as I found this morning, you know, there are forces including Cleveland that are referring officers to food banks. Um, as I say, you know, the average UK salary is £30,000, so members of the public will be struggling and are struggling, clearly, at the moment um, with salaries. But the police are the public, the public are the police, so these issues are resounding within policing, um, as well as the public. And there are also um, sayings that you can kind of pluck from from literature, you know, the, 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 the public get the police force they deserve, they certainly get the police force they pay for, and there's lots and lots of issues in policing at the moment, not least of which is pay. Um, but for me, I just look at some of the issues around, you know, you've got officers on struggling to pay bills, going to food banks, and the first thing that comes into my mind with that is the risk of corruption of organised crime groups and villains trying to corrupt police officers. Uh, and there's an easy gateway in, so some work there for professional standards groups and anti-corruption units to get the full intelligence picture around that because it must be active in terms of that. Um, and all of this is around the government thinking, well, you know, how long can we let things get as bad as they can get before we actually, you know, think about listening to these pay representations. Um, so the corruption issue, you know, are officers vulnerable to corruption? on such low salaries. Um, there's definitely financial difficulties. Um, in relation to vetting, we know that there's an issue with vetting. Vetting is expensive, so often vetting is targeted to certain posts or roles that are vulnerable within policing. There's certainly not the money there to do the proper vetting, and those ca that case has been made recently in, in, in the media and the news. Um, if you look back in history, you know, things got really, really bad previously. So I wonder how, th how bad things are going to have to get. So when things got bad previously, I think it was just after I joined policing, uh, or just before I joined policing, Edmund Davis did an inquiry, was appointed to do an inquiry into police pay and made a recommendation of a 30 to 45% pay increase at that time. So I just wonder how, how bad things are going to have to get. Um, but just as I say, just think through some of the options, bringing it back to you as an aspiring promotion candidate. What do you think about these issues? These are just some of my thoughts and some of the links to these issues. But how will you deal with these issues as they arise on your teams as a sergeant, inspector, uh, chief inspector, etc.? Um, how are you dealing with them now? What issues and signs are you seeing? How are you dealing with them? 
Uh, and it's just, just using the news really to reflect on your leadership style as you learn and grow and develop as a leader. Uh, and some thoughts there. So in relation to the salary, head across to my site ranksuccess.co.uk. You'll find an up-to-date list there, which I will be working hard to keep up to date. I hope to see some good news uh, on the pay front for police officers uh, in, the, in the near future. Uh, and uh, I'll leave you with those thoughts, really. It's in relation to your um, promotion aspirations. So until the next video, take care and stay safe.